My name is Michael Haney. I'm the deputy editor of GQ. I think you'll see a lot more uh, sort of uh, soft shoulder jackets uh, and uh, sort of um, in more patterns as well. No open-toed shoes, I hope. We stop that, okay? No more sandals. My name is Wendell Brown, senior fashion editor at Esquire magazine. Uh, there's a lot of color. There's a lot of washed cotton. Cotton has been largely underused, and now it's kind of come full circle, and a lot of canvas. Lightweight tailoring, being able to wear a suit or a jacket in spring, summer, especially in big cities that are really odd. It's nice to have that option. Looking forward to that. Eugene Tong, Details Magazine, Style Director. T-shirts, shorts, I think lay shorts with layering I think is also big. That's going to be coming up. Um, popover shirts, I think short sleeve button downs and things like that I think are all really great as well. Um, light outerwear, I think it's, I think kind of a lot of sheer stuff I think will be will be happening as well. Tank tops I'm sure will still be big, having a big moment. I'm Jennifer Nett and I'm editor-in-chief of Vogue.fr. I think it's about a wardrobe that you can wear from the, from the morning to, till the evening. I mean something really easy to wear from like every man has a really busy life today so I think it's, uh, it's easier and more convenient if he can like if a man can wear something from the, like 10 o'clock to 10 p.m. without having to change. My name is Dan Rookwood and I am the style director at Men's Health Magazine UK. Colour is just really really much stronger in, in the summer um, and I think we're going to see a lot of block <coughs> colour accessories this summer. I think you know you can kind of wear your normal kind of pastels and, and, and kind of uh, more neutral tones but you're dressing it up with a pop of colour uh, you know and it may, whether it's your sunglasses or whether it's something you're wearing on your watch or and uh, that's going to be really sort of strong summer.